Good morning, grab and go. Welcome back, folks. And we're starting off the next season of Grab and Go History. And what better way to start off by talking about that little slice of heaven as, you guessed it, the Battle of Stalingrad. Okay. Well, first off, what is Stalingrad? Stalingrad was a city in Russia. Can we find Stalingrad now? Technically, but that's a whole other story. Let's back up. Now, Stalingrad is a city in southern Russia, it's former Soviet Union. Now, what had happened was during the Russian Civil War, which took place after the Bolshevik Revolution, the situation was where the, some of the Red Army forces were being led by some by Trotsky and some by Stalin and so on. And one place they fought was this one city on the Volga River called the, the city of Zaritsyan. It was named, of course, as the old Tsarist city. And Stalin had a very tremendous victory there. It's an area a lot of pride for him, so he took a it took a special liking to that area. And in 1924, contrary to his expressed wishes to not have this done, when Stalin was immortalizing Lenin, he decided that he was going to rename the old Tsarist capital of St. Petersburg after Lenin himself. So he called it Leningrad. Grad is the Russian word for city, so it'd be Lenin City. And he also decided a couple in 1925 to do the exact same thing with a city that he was very fond of called uh, Zaritsyn. and he named it after himself, Stalingrad. That is where the name of the city came from. So now the situation here is, okay, I'm going to show you on a map here. A little bit tricky, but we'll see if we can get it out here. This here is the southern Russian area. Uh, of the Caucasus region. Now what happened there was Hitler was I mean the first year of the Great Patriotic War 1941 Hitler was hoping of course to knock out the Soviet Union right right early and He saw the second year was coming and he knew he didn't have the resources to carry it straight forward And he actually went so far as to say publicly that if we don't get oil We don't win the oil regions of the Caucasus region We're gonna have to cash it in. We're not gonna win this war without it. And so he pretty much telegraphed what his next move was. So he's going to have his troops move into the area of, that area of southern Russia, into the Caucasus region, all this down in this area. And right along there, one of the cities that happens to be on the way to the Caucasus region, to the, to the oil fields down there, was the city of Stalingrad. It's right on the, it was a transportation hub and it was also a manufacturing area. And also there was a peculiar situation where the, in that area of Russia, the western banks of the river were higher than the, the, low, the eastern banks of the river, so it wasn't easy just to ford it. It's easier to go through places that were already set up to, to transport in, in those areas that were already prepared for traffic. And so, because Stalingrad itself was, was, it was a point of interest for the, uh, Hitler and his army, but it wasn't the main objective. It was more just something they were t trying to take just so they could so they could sew up loose, wrap up loose ends. It wasn't really that big of a deal. St strategically, Stalingrad really didn't do much. But the thing is, what would happen is that the fact that it was named after the leader of the Soviet Union, it became a very big point of what would become the biggest battle of egos in world history. So it came down to Stalin wanted the city held at all costs and Hitler wanted it taken at all costs. Now, as we go forward in this, you're going to find that it's going to be to come out that the best ally that the Red Army had during this situation was Hitler himself, because he bought every single opportunity for his army and to save his army in that area. So, but they start coming up there in, in July of 1942, and they're attacking, they're fighting, and the, the resistance in the Stalingrad itself is quite stiff. And so they have a brilliant idea to bomb the city back into the Stone Age. Well, it worked quite well. They did bomb the city until it was pretty much rubble, but what it did is it created the perfect place for the Red Army troops to hide, especially sharpshooters. Those who have seen the movie Enemy at the Gates, you'll have a better, have, that's basically what, that's what took place. You'll see a good visual of what took place there. And many of the, and the snipers were just notorious in the, in the, for, against the German army. And what was interesting also at that point is uh, many of the snipers as well were women. The Soviets were the only were the ones that really put women in frontline combat in those situations, and many of the most effective snipers during the Eastern Campaign or the Great Patriotic War were actually women, and so that's the situation that's happening so far in the beginning of July nineteen end of rather the end of July of nineteen forty two. There's a lot more to come on that, so we'll come back to that soon. So there you go.